All right, so guys, I'm going to walk you through on how to build a uh, graph on Google Sheets real quick. So the first thing we want to do is we want to write down our data table. So let's say that we have uh, some sort of distance versus time data table. So we'll put time or our x-axis in the left column, and we'll put our y-axis in the right column. And we'll record our data points here. So let's just say that these are my data points. All right, I'll drop down a few of these. And then for distance, here's my data points here. All right, um, something else that's really important is that when we have our uh, table, we wanna make sure that we're including the units in it. So time in seconds and then distance measured in meters. Okay, once we have all of our data, we're going to highlight the axes and the data points. We're going to go to insert, and then we're going to go to chart. The chart that we want to use is not a line chart, um, but 99% of the time it's going to be a scatter chart, okay? So it actually suggests that for you here. If it doesn't suggest it up here, you just want to scroll down to where you see scatter and click fit. All right, but either one will work. This one all the way down here, or if your computer's being nice, this one up here, scatter chart. Okay, now that we have the scatter chart, uh, we can see our graph. We have our y-axis, which is distance measured in meters, our x-axis, time measured in seconds, and our title, distance versus time, okay? We can just double check right over here on the right side um, what all of our axes are. Next, we want to go to Customize. Say that we have the wrong title for some reason. We want to click here, and we can change our chart title very easily just by typing in uh, the correct title here. Okay. Uh, same thing with horizontal axes if we have to change that, or vertical axes. So I'm going to go ahead and close the chart and axes titles. The next thing we want to do is go to series right here. And we want to scroll down. And we want to go to where it says trend line. And we want to add a trend line. So we'll click right here to add a trend line. Now we see that this line popped up and we're given all these options. For the most part, all the data that we're dealing with is linear. So the type of line that we want is linear. That should be the default. For all of you guys. So after we have trend line checked, make sure linear is checked, and then we want to go down to label. Down here at label, we want to click it and click use equation. Now our graph has an equation, and this equation is important because when it comes to calculating data points that we don't know the answer to, uh, we can use this equation to figure that out. Okay? So let's double check that our graph has everything we need. We have the title. It has axes, it has units, it has a scale, it has our data point, it has our trend line, and it also has our equation. So we're all good. The last thing we want to do is we want to add this graph to whatever we're doing our homework on or anything. So we want to click here on the graph in the top right, the three dots, and then want to scroll down to where it says download and hit download as PNG. This will save the graph to our uh, computer, and we can go in the application that we have it, that we uh, are trying to submit, and we can just go to insert image um, from computer, and then paste it right there. All right, I hope this helped out. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions.